Hello and welcome to day 24 of 30 Days of Lightroom. Now today is special. We're introducing two new Lightroom programs that's going to add to our Lightroom suite. So we're going to show you the differences between Lightroom Classic, Lightroom, and Lightroom Mobile. Hello and welcome back to our series where we teach you everything you need to know about Lightroom in 30 days. And today we're introducing two new programs. We've already been using Lightroom Classic for the majority of the series. Now we're going to be talking about Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. So that's right, there are three different Lightroom programs. So first we're going to talk about Lightroom Classic. Now this is the program that we've been using for the majority of our series. It's a professional level program that's used to organize and edit your images on your local computer. So it's not for the cloud editing. That's going to be Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. Lightroom Classic is working with images that are on your computer. Now the things that you gain with Lightroom Classic are advanced editing capabilities. You can organize the photos throughout your computer and you can even shoot tethered, which means you can connect your camera to your computer take images from your computer and see them transfer directly immediately. So if you're in a studio setting, Lightroom Classic might be a perfect option for you. Next, we're moving into Lightroom. Now, this is a cloud-based editing program primarily. You can still edit images that are on your computer, but it was built around uploading your images to the web. Lightroom has a more streamlined interface. It's a much newer program and it's designed to pair perfectly with Lightroom Mobile. So cloud edits that you make on your computer using Lightroom automatically sync with your tablet or mobile device and vice versa. So if you're someone who wants your images on the cloud so you can access them at any time or for extra security, let's say your hard drive crashes or something like that, it's a great idea to put your images on the web so you know, you could lose your computer. Let's hope that doesn't happen to you. But if you did, you would still have access to your photos. And lastly, we have Lightroom Mobile, which works on your phone or tablet. Now, this syncs perfectly with Lightroom on your computer. So any changes that you make on your mobile device will automatically be reflected on your computer and vice versa. It has a full editing capabilities and it is fantastic for editing your images on the go. So now we're gonna give you a brief overview of all three programs so you can see how they all compare. We're starting off with Lightroom Classic. So we're starting off with Lightroom Classic. Now, as you can see, this is the program here, Lightroom Classic. We've been using this for the majority of our series. So in our library module, this is where we import images that are on our computer. As you can see, we have one sample image for today. You can download this image if you'd like to work on it. It is a raw file. Now I'm able to organize my images through Lightroom Classic, as well as organize folders on my computer. I can move into my develop module, and this is where I could apply automatic adjustments just like this, fantastic. I can even go into masking and do more advanced adjustments. For instance, I'll go to my radial gradient, we'll click and drag out there, maybe bring my feathering up, and I'm just gonna bring up our shadow level just a little bit, maybe our exposure a tiny bit, and that's gonna help bring more attention to our subject. Fantastic, so a very simple edit. Now, this is all happening within Lightroom Classic. And if I want these changes to apply to my photograph, I would export these out and they're gonna be on my computer. So we're gonna go back into library where we can see our image. And if you want these changes applied, you can export your image. So we're gonna to go to file down here to export. And then we're just gonna put this in the same folder as the original image. And I'm gonna make sure this is a JPEG. We're gonna click on export and there we go. So here on our computer, we can see we have lightroom.dng. This is the raw file that we're including with today's video. You can download this totally free. Just click on the link right down below. And then here we have the JPEG that we just exported out. So you can see this is for working with images on your computer. So Lightroom Classic is fantastic for organizing images on your computer advanced editing, as well as tethered capture. Now we're gonna move into Lightroom, which is the cloud-based editing program on your computer. So here we are in Adobe Lightroom. And as you can see, there are a lot of similarities from Lightroom Classic to Lightroom. Now this program is primarily made for cloud editing. All of your changes are gonna be automatically synced on the cloud. So we have two main options here. We have cloud and local. So you can edit your images that are on your local computer. You don't have to put these images on the cloud. 
For instance, we have this DNG, which is included in the download, and then this is the JPEG that we just edited and exported out from Lightroom Classic. So if you wanted to, you could copy that directly to the cloud, and then you could work on it in the cloud. Now, I've already done that. I've duplicated the DNG and copied it into cloud. So anything that is visible here in cloud is gonna automatically upload to the web. So let's go ahead and double click on this image and you can see I can continue editing. So over here on the left hand side, we have all of our photos. We can create our albums. These are other images that I've loaded into Lightroom. And then here we have our editing. And as you're gonna see, it looks very similar to Lightroom Classic and most of the same tools are present. So I can go into my editing suite, for instance, I can go into my lens blur and you can see that I already have my lens blur applied. I could even enhance my lens blur or take it away. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and go into our masking. This is our mask that we created in Lightroom Classic. I duplicated it here in Lightroom and maybe I just wanna bring up our exposure just a little bit. We're gonna bring down our contrast and this looks fantastic. So as you can see, all of these same settings that I have available in Lightroom Classic are here in Lightroom as well. So if you're familiar with Lightroom Classic and you want to move into more cloud-based editing, Lightroom is going to be a very easy transition. So by editing my image in Lightroom, it automatically uploads to the cloud and it's available for me instantly on my phone or tablet. So now let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom Mobile on the phone. So here we can see I have Lightroom, I have all these other photographs that I've worked on as well. And now let's go ahead and work on this photo a little bit more. Maybe I wanna add a vignette to the corners making more attention on my subject. So we're gonna move here into masking. Let's go ahead and click on our masks. I'm gonna click on the plus icon and add a mask. Let's add a radial gradient here. We're gonna click and drag from the center out just like that. Now I wanna inverse this mask. So I'm gonna click here on the left, the inverse icon. Then we'll go into our light setting and I'm gonna simply lower our exposure just a little bit. Oh, I clicked on contrast by accident. Let's go to our exposure and lower that just a little bit, fantastic. And now let's go ahead and click on our mask. I can click on our feathering options and decide how much feathering I would like to be included in this mask. All right, I think that looks really nice. So let's go ahead and click on this check on the bottom right hand side and we'll click on the back button. Now, as you can see with the cloud icon at the very top, it's uploading these changes automatically to the cloud and this is gonna be then visible Lightroom on the desktop. And here we have our changes automatically applied to Lightroom on the desktop. So I can go back into my masking and here you can see I have both masks available for me. The mask where we made our subject a little bit brighter and the mask where we made our background a little bit darker, adding this vignette effect. And in here on the very bottom, I can go ahead and see there's our before and the after. So I can start editing on my computer, I can wrap it up on my phone, and if I wanna make any changes later, I can go back on a computer and everything is gonna be synced. So there we have it, our three Lightroom programs. Lightroom Classic, which is perfect for editing images on your computer, as well as advanced organization and tethering. Lightroom on your computer, which is a cloud-based editing program that syncs perfectly with Lightroom Mobile for your phone or tablet. So when it comes to choosing which Lightroom program you'd like to use, it really depends on whether you'd like to work on your images locally on your computer. In that case, Lightroom Classic is gonna be perfect. Or if you wanna do cloud-based editing, Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile are going to be the tools for you. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up if you'd like this video. And if you wanna get more free tutorials, simply click on subscribe. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye everyone.